I am back today with one of the most requested and one of my favorite videos to make. And this video is even more important because I'm not only gonna give you the exact message that you need to hear today, but I'm also gonna give you a prediction about what's going to happen for you this month. This is very specific and you are going to love this. And I'm also going to give you a meditation to use based on which photo you chose. If you feel like you've been waiting for the answer on something or stuck in kind of a holding pattern, waiting for that next download or that guidance or what you need to know or do next, listen up because you are about to hear exactly what you need to know. These videos are so unbelievably accurate that time and time again, people tell me how shocked they are. So I can't wait to dive into this video with you. If you've been here before, you know the drill, but just in case you're new, how it works is that I'm about to put four photo cards up on the screen and then I will give you an accurate prediction and message that you need to hear today, as well as a meditation to use based on which photo you chose. And if you like these types of videos, I actually created a whole playlist called the choose a photo playlist. It's linked right down below where you can find more of these videos and get all of your messages and predictions. It becomes addicting. And really quickly, if you're new here, I'm Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach and manifesting expert focused on getting you transformational results. My whole channel is all about manifesting the law of attraction with meditations and more where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. I post brand new videos every single Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up down below if you like these types of videos so that I can make more for you. It takes just a quick second, but it lets me know that you're watching and enjoying and getting value from these videos. So once you do that, let's get right into it. Now, like I've mentioned in my other videos, this is not tarot, it's not any kind of psychic thing. This is actually based through psychology, energy, visualization, and interpretation. And like I mentioned, you will most likely be very shocked at how accurate this gets. So here's how it works. In just a moment, I'm gonna put four different photos up on the screen at the same time, and without overthinking it or going too deep or going back and forth, you are going to choose just one. Which one are you drawn to? And from there, I will tell you what it means and what's about to happen for you and the meditation and the prediction and everything. I'll get very detailed. And as I also always mention, don't fall into the trap of overthinking it or getting torn between two. Trust yourself, trust your instincts. Notice the first one that your eyes are just drawn to. You will know which one to choose. I encourage you to trust your instincts, trust where your attention is drawn to. And I also highly recommend coming back to this video in a couple days, weeks, months, maybe even a year, or go through the other choose a photo playlist videos and see if you get a different message or the same message. It's always fun to see kind of what's happening. So here are the four photos. And again, just pick one and I'm gonna tell you the message and prediction based on which photo you chose. Are you ready? Here they are and you have just a few seconds to choose. Okay, hopefully you picked one, and if not, go back and pick. And now let's get into the messages and predictions. So if you chose the first photo of the spotlights shining up in that hallway, here is the message and prediction that you need to hear. Let's start with the message first. So if you chose this photo, you likely have some type of big goal or dream or achievement that you're going after right now, but you have no idea how this is all going to work out. Based on your current circumstances and the things that you have going on in your life right now, this goal or dream might look impossible from the outside. But the truth is, is that this big goal or dream is going to happen for you and you are meant to achieve this. Whatever it is that you want, whatever goal or dream that you've been hoping to achieve is not only possible, but inevitable. It is going to happen for you. Your message is, is that no matter what things look like right now, and no matter how unlikely this big goal may seem, it's your job right now to commit to it completely, to decide to have it. Without fear, without worry, without overthinking, decide to have it now. It's game time. It's yours. End of story. Choose. And as you make this decision, look for any part of you that might actually be possibly scared of having it or any part of you that worries about the changes that might come with it, or maybe any other feelings associated with maybe not feeling good enough or worthy enough. Notice any fear or doubt and decide to let it go and commit. Move forward with unwavering faith towards the goal or dream, being certain of the outcome that it's yours because it is because you chose. You have the power of choice. And while right now you may have no idea how this is going to look or what's gonna happen next or how it will all work out, while you may not know all those details, allow yourself to be guided. You can kind of imagine it like this. 
Right now, you might be in complete darkness, not knowing how you're going to get from where you are right now to this thing or experience or where you wanna be. It's somewhere out in the distance and you can't quite see it clearly yet. But as you instinctively move forward, that path is going to light up, guiding you step by step towards this end goal that you want. Every action, every decision, everything will all come to you and light up this path for you. You don't have to know all the steps yet. Trust yourself and commit. And your prediction is that sometime this week, after seeing this video and after committing to this big goal or dream, committing to it completely and deciding, is that you are going to see some sort of evidence or proof that it's working in your favor. So be on the lookout and be open to it. It could be extremely subtle or it could be completely obvious. It might be through something someone says or a commercial or something you hear, but look for confirmation of this big goal or dream coming true because it's gonna happen, it's happening. And if you chose this photo, be sure to listen to the manifesting portal meditation. I'm gonna leave a link up here and a link down below for that. If you chose the second photo of the road with the universe above it, here is the message and prediction that you need to hear. Let's start with the message first. For the past few weeks or months, or maybe even since the new year, you have been in a sort of creation mode, getting clear on what you want, why you want it, and deciding what you want in all aspects of your life. To put it simply, it's almost like you've been building your mental vision board for a while now, slowly but surely piecing together what it is that you want and what you desire. But as you've been in this creation mode, deciding what it is that you wanna have, notice if you're actually deciding what you actually want or if you're settling. Are you truly lit up and excited about these things that you desire? Or are they maybe just slightly better than what you have now? Or do they just sound good on paper? Are you really going for your full potential? Stop settling. Your message is to aim higher, to raise your standards and allow yourself to go bigger and better than you ever even thought possible. Dream bigger and then go there. There are no limits to what you can have. So create unapologetically and go bigger. Lead by light, lead by light, lead by light. That is your specific message, lead by light. What lights you up and what also makes your soul feel light. Step into that light because it's all possible. Limits are truly just lies that you chose to believe. So as you create, let go of these lies and raise your standards. It's all possible. Whatever that you're going to manifest, how can you open up to more, to better, to massive abundance and miracles? After watching this video, I want you to write down three to five things that you are manifesting, things that you desire to have. And then how can you open up to a little bit more, leaving some room for magic? And as you write these things down, also write down any limits you feel about it and begin to notice that these limits aren't actually facts. They're not true. It's just something, a thought that you bought into. Go bigger, lead by light. What lights you up and what makes your soul feel light. Start playing around with the affirmation, I am only available for my expectations to be exceeded. That's gonna be the game changer for you. Your prediction is that after using this affirmation and doing this work of going bigger, dreaming higher, raising your standards, is that you will get some sort of immediate evidence this month something turning out even better than you thought or expected, some sort of miracle or unexpected abundance showing up to support you and to remind you to raise your standards and keep them high. And if you chose this photo, be sure to listen to the higher self-guided meditation. This is going to be so crucial and beneficial for you. If you chose the third photo of the nature landscape with the circle reflection, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear. Let's start with the message first. There is some sort of pattern that you keep repeating that is affecting the outcome of something you desire. Truly, again, let me, let me repeat this for you because it's important. There is some sort of pattern that you keep repeating that's affecting the outcome of something that you want, something that you desire. So if you aren't seeing results in a specific area or if you aren't experiencing what you want, it's time to look within. And before you roll your eyes or shut down this idea, because I know people don't like to look within, it seems very vague and unclear, it's important to understand that your external reality is largely a reflection of what's actually happening within you. And I don't mean just like your feelings or that you need to be more positive or anything like that. It's not what I'm saying. Let yourself be you, but notice the thoughts that you have, because these thoughts then form your actions and your actions shape your life and your actions and thoughts create patterns in your life, whether you realize it or not. 
A lot of it's on a subconscious level. For example, let's say you're struggling to manifest money. So you keep trying to manifest it and you do all of the things, but you're still focused on the lack. You go and check your bank account, you see a low number, then you start thinking thoughts of panic or worry. And those thoughts of panic or worry are gonna make you take actions like refusing to spend any money or gripping onto it or fearing it or feeling lack of it. And you're gonna try and work harder and do more and try harder and do more. And it keeps you stuck in a cycle repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Get off that hamster wheel, break yourself free. You are not stuck in this cycle. Not anymore. So notice if you have any of these kind of like holding patterns around the things that you struggle or the things that you don't like, because I can almost assure you if you're experiencing something you don't like and it keeps happening, you have some sort of pattern. It's up to you to discover this pattern. This is something that only you can do and it actually requires you to look within. Do that work, it's worth it. What thoughts are forming your actions? that form a specific pattern that's keeping you stuck. This is all kind of journal prompts. This is going to be an ongoing question that you have to take time and work through because once you do, everything can shift quickly in your favor. You have far more power than you think you do. Have you ever heard of the phrase, as above, so below? There are different realities that are available to you at all times. So reflect from within what you wanna see on the outside. Think the thoughts, take the actions, be in alignment with the reality that you desire. Your prediction is that after doing this work of identifying the holding pattern that you keep repeating and beginning to shift it and work from the inside out is that you are going to start seeing miracles, both big and small daily. Yes, daily. This is truly great news because I'm telling you, this will be not just once or twice. This is going to be every single day. This is going to be a natural occurrence for you. How amazing is that? So be open to receiving these miracles and be open to noticing them when they happen. So often we sort of rush through the day with blinders on, not really realizing and acknowledging all the good things that happen, both big and small, the little miracles that happen all the time without us realizing it. So notice it, be present, start to enjoy your reality within so much that it will show up on the outside. Everything will shift in your favor. And these miracles will take all sorts of forms. So be ready to notice them, like I said. And if you chose this photo, be sure to listen to the belief reprogramming meditation. I'm gonna leave a link up here and a link down below. And if you chose the fourth photo of that golden flower, here is the prediction and message that you are meant to hear. Let's start with the message first. Something that you are trying to manifest is already here and it's trying to make its way to you, which is extremely exciting. It's here and it's ready for you, but Right now, you are standing in the way with trying to control all of the details that aren't up to you. There is some sort of control and attachment that you have to let go of in order for you to have this thing that you desire. It's here and it's ready for you. Let go of the control. Maybe you're trying to control when it will come or how it will come or in what specific timing or deadline that you're stopping it from showing up. So how can you start to sort of loosen your grip? How can you let it be more flowy and less forced? How can you indulge in a feeling of relief and release, knowing that it's already here and it's certain and that you get to have it so that you can stop worrying and forcing all of the details that aren't in your control? It's time to soften. It's time to open up to the unseen forces working in your favor. I know that's easier said than done. I'm a very type A controlling type of person. I like details too, but let all of the details unravel and reveal sort of like the petals in this photo at their own time, at their own pace and the best way that it's meant to be. This flower isn't sitting there saying, okay, this petal needs to open and bloom right now. And then this one tomorrow and wait now, all of the petals need to open in this way or else. No, eventually all of these petals are going to open and blossom. So it doesn't matter what the order is or what the details of how or when, because it will. So play around with one of my favorite affirmations. I don't know how or when, but I know that it will. Get into that surrendered state and choose to be certain of the outcome and let the details be worked out for you. It's very freeing when this happens. Allow yourself to be supported by the things that are out of your control, that aren't up to you. It's all working out in your favor. What you want is here and it's ready for you. So let go of that grip. Allow yourself to receive. And your prediction is that this week you are going to start seeing flowers everywhere. I'm sorry, but it's true. It could be on billboards, on books, in your yard, on a walk, at a restaurant. You are going to start seeing flowers 
everywhere. And these flowers, use them as a subtle reminder to let go and to be open to receive. So when you see these flowers, allow yourself to be in that sort of humbled moment where you can kind of laugh and say to yourself, okay, I get it, soften, let go, I get it. These flowers are your gentle reminder. But truly notice how often you start seeing them this week, you are gonna see them everywhere. So make sure to notice when you do. Be open and present and in the moment so you can remember when you see them and take in that reminder. And if you chose this photo, be sure to listen to the surrender and let go meditation. I'm gonna leave a link for that one up here and a link down below for you. So those are the four photos. Let me know which photo you chose, if it was one, two, three, or four. And also let me know if the message resonated with you. Truly, these are some of my favorite comments to read. I love hearing the results from this. And like I mentioned, if you wanna watch any of the other prediction videos like this one, there is a link to the Choose a Photo playlist down below in the description box. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Be sure to comment your results below. I truly love hearing from them and I read basically all of them. You can also find me over on TikTok and Instagram at mkmagicmindset. And if you wanna learn more about me, my programs, how to work with me and more, you can visit my website at mkmagicmindset.com and I will see you in the next one.